Today we're going to be looking at the 2019 February silver question, sleepy cow herding. So in this question, Farmer John's end cows are on a straight number line, and what's going to happen is Farmer John wants to move them so that they're all in a block of end cows. So what he can do is he can move the two endpoint cows, but not only that, he can only move them as long as she is no longer an endpoint. So What's going to happen is we want to find the minimum number of moves that Farmer John can use and the maximum number of moves. So the algorithm we're going to be using for this question is going to be two pointers. And the way we're going to use this is since the question asks for both the minimum and the maximum, we're just going to solve those separately. So let's use an example where n is equal to 6. If I want to use the minimum amount of moves, what I'm going to do is I want to move the least amount of cows. So what I'm actually going to do is in order to move the least amount of cows, I'm going to use two pointers and I'm going to sweep across. And when I do this sweep, what I want to do is I want to find the biggest amount of cows in a range less than n. So what this means is at the end, I can assume I'm going to have to group my cows up in a way where it's a block of n cows. So it's going to end up being a block of six cows in this example. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to loop through and find the blocks. I'm just going to use two pointers and I'm going to loop through and find the locations with the most amount of cows already in this block. So let's say I were to use this block right here. So if I were using this range as my final range, what I would have to assume is I would have to assume all four of these cows are gonna have to end up being moved inside of this range. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna find a range of size n with the most amount of cows in here. So in this example, the most amount of cows is here. And as you can see here, I have two spaces left for these two cows. So in this case, the answer would be two because all I would have to do is move these two cows into the spaces. You'll see this works for almost all examples. And the exception is, there's only one place I can't move a cow. So in this example, what would happen is I would move this cow here, this cow would be the end cow, I would move it here, and I'd be done. But in the case where I have n minus 1 cows already lined up, and the last cow just needs to move here, I can't do this in one move. And this is because I can't move an end cow to the end. I have to move it to somewhere where it's not an edge point. So what we can actually do is we can hard code and look for cases like this. There are only two cases. One is in this, and the other is the exact opposite, so it would be something like this. And then besides these two cases, which take two moves each, because I'd have to move the other end cow here, where it would not be an edge point, then I'd have to move this one here, where it's not an edge point. But in all other cases, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to literally use two pointers, find the maximum range of cows, count the number of cows in this range, and then the answer is just going to be n minus the number of cows here because I need to move n minus the number of cows here, cows into this range. So that's pretty much it for the minimum. For the maximum, what we're gonna do is we're just going to assume what I can do is I can stall for as long as possible. So in order to keep stalling until I reach the answer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to count the number of spaces. So I'm actually going to do a kind of piggyback strategy. So what's going to happen is I'm going to move my end cow. Since I can't move it to an edge point, so say if the distance between the two cows was huge, I can't just move it over and over inside. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to move two cows, and they're going to piggyback on top of each other. So this cow is going to go here, where it's no longer at edge point. Now that this is an edge point, it's going to go here. And we can do this all the way until I reach this. So what I'm actually going to do is the maximum is a lot easier. I'm just going to hard code where I either have this many spaces, and I can just have these two cows piggyback the number of spaces here. So I could have one go here, one go here, one go here, one go here, and one go here. Or what I could do is I could have this many spaces and I'd have this cow and the next cow piggyback their way this way. So I'll show you the code, but that's the basic algorithm for this question. 
So I've set up the program here, as you can see, and what I have is I'm just going to read in the input, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sort the cows. So in order for the program to work, we do need the cows to be in the order of their locations. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start programming the minimum answer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have two special cases, or actually one special case, which we talked about earlier. So in the case that the cows n minus 1 and n minus 2 have the endpoint, we're going to use this. And in the case that the cows 0 and the cows 1 have this problem, we're going to use this one. So for all other cases, we're just going to do two pointers. So we're going to have pointer 1 and pointer 2. And what we're going to do is we're going to have pointer 1 loop through 0 to n minus 1. So pointer 1 is going to be the start of the range, the starting cow. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to increment pointer 2 until we manage to find a range of size n. So it's important to note we're not look going until I find a literal range of p2 minus p1. We're looking at the cow locations. So once the cow of p2, or p2 plus 1 because we're going to add it in here, minus the cow location of p1 is greater than n, greater than or equal to n, then we can break. But in the case that it's less than or equal to n minus 1, then we're going to keep incrementing. At the very end, the range size is going to be the number of cows in the range. So the number of cows is just going to be the index p2 minus the index p1 plus 1. So this is going to be the number of cows within the range. And then we're going to have a value called max range, and then we're just going to find the maximum one or the maximum group of cows within n distance. And then at the very end, our minimum answer is just going to be n minus that amount, just like we talked about earlier. So at the very end, we can just output our minimum answer. And for our maximum answer, since we're only piggybacking or swapping two cows, we're just going to have two different cases. So we're either going to have the n minus two cows be at the very beginning, and we're going to swap the last two cows, or we're going to have them be at the end and then swap the first two cows. And then we're just going to subtract these, the n minus two cows because we're just going to count the number of other spaces. So we're going to have the maximum amount of spaces here, not including the first cow. And then we're going to subtract the n minus two cow locations. So that's the end of our program.